kind of just get in their bar and just say Just go it. right in there? <laughs> yeah. I don't think it matters too much. I don't, I don't really warm up when I run. I just usually go. Yeah. But I've always just been accustomed to bench squat, deadlift. Just I always just do the bar. Yeah. And this gives me an idea how I feel for the day. But I've also walked right into the gym cold before and done like six plates. <laughs> yeah. That Never was back that. when I was wearing a, a bench shirt. But still. Your current best is like around 405? Yeah, 405. I think the goal is to get like 425 in the mm. little time period that I'm not running a lot. And then what was your mile time, did you say? It was uh, like, I think my best was right under five, five minutes. <sighs> Damn. Do you keep your elbows in or do you like the, um, like are you more close grip or wide? My grip is about it's pretty close to where yours is. Yeah. Um, and I'll push my elbows in. Yeah. To the side a little bit. I try to stack everything together. So the, the, uh, my bones are stacked. My wrist, my elbow. Yeah. Are kind of stacked. I try not to like turn it in too much, you know? Yeah. Try to keep the elbows under the wrist, I guess you'd say. I usually go right about, right about there. I suicide gripped like my entire life. Yeah. Um, and I, I just like. Living on the edge? Yeah. <laughs> Thumbless. Well they say cause that's you're like, crazy. you're not squeezing the bar. I don't yeah. know if that's actually what, how it mm. works. You're just, it's stacked. So it's just less energy that comes off. I think a lot of people do that. It's like a preference in their wrist, right? Like, yeah. I know like uh, if you are used to going thumbless and then you wrap around the bar, it kind of like doesn't feel good on your wrist. Yeah. My body works better under higher intensity. I think for volume, I just noticed that the more volume I push, I tend to get more fatigued and I can't, the overall work output isn't as high. Whereas like intensity, I just feel like my muscles grow better and I can push harder. And I just love like throwing around weight. I think going into the gym and just loading up the bar is a lot more fun than just counting reps. But that's just always how I trained. I learned a lot of like protein leveraging that you did. Yeah. Or I don't know if you still do. Yeah, absolutely. That's like my diet for the past year and a half is well, today I didn't because I wanted to lift heavy, but right. yeah, I just like, we'll have protein coffee in the morning and I won't eat till two or three o'clock. Mm -hmm. And I got used to it at first, it was really hard, but I it still- help, uh, help with your like body composition? Oh yeah, I got leaner for sure. Um, it helped me in my, my marathon, I think, because mm. I would do all my runs fasted. I wouldn't use any fuel. I think my body got better at burning fat as fuel. Whereas if I would have, you know, used carbs throughout the whole thing, like I think I wouldn't have done as well. Yeah, I've um, tried to run like with and without food and I haven't noticed yeah. uh, a profound difference with food. And that's good, like that two means, hours ahead I of think time. that means you're training at the right heart rate too. Mm. Like, cause if you really pushed it, you're, you would flush right through <laughs> right, your right, right. That makes sense. It's, if your training intensity is a little too high, yeah. you feel pretty wiped out. Yeah, so like your heart rate's at a good spot then. Mm -hmm. I don't know, you, you do wear a heart rate. I do, right? yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, usually it's like, uh, in the zone two, basically. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, you're not burning too much glycogen there. Mm -hmm. You are a little, but. Right. Yeah. Is this usually what you go to? Three plates? Yeah. One, two, three, up. Oh, it's been a little while since I, a couple weeks. I made it. I'll try uh, 365. 365. 365 heavy ass pounds. You think different plates weigh different? Like if you go to different gyms? Yes, yeah, they feel, sometimes, some places feel super heavy. Yeah. And other places sometimes you, you get lucky and if weights feel light. Yeah. I always think that the, like the bumper plates always feel light to me. Really? I don't know why, but I just always, I used to bench with them sometimes. Really? Just cause it felt easier. Yeah, I used to use a, a deadlift bar and whip it off my get, chest. Oh, get, oh yeah, get, oh, get a bounce. Yeah. That's what I actually hit my last four or five on. Like when I dropped it off my chest, it whipped off my chest. Getting the cheating secrets right here yeah. behind the scenes. When did you start lifting? Uh, about six years ago, um, like when I played sports. I wasn't serious though. Like mm -hmm. I only really started getting serious about like four years ago. Were you skinny or fat? I was really skinny, <laughs> yeah. I was, it's uh, like usually someone's one or the other. Yeah, right? no, I was 150 pounds at six foot. 
so I was like skin and bones. Yeah, he's pretty tall. Look, I mean, I don't have my shoes on, but I'm still much shorter either way. Yeah. <laughs> How were you built, like, growing up? I, I was uh, a little chunkier, yeah, yeah, for the most part. Do you think, um, do you think like, the, like, your body frame from when you were younger, like, if you were chunkier, do you think it's easier to add muscle? From what I've seen in terms of, like, some of the best physiques in the world, they're usually from people that just never got fat. Really? Most of the time. There's only like, out of all the people I've ever had in the podcast, there's only one person that stands out that like completely changed their body. And that is uh, the Tiger Fitness, uh, Mark. Oh, I um, know who you're talking about. <laughs> Lobliner, Mark Lobliner. Sorry, Mark, lost your name there for a second. Yeah. Yeah, Mark Lobliner is like one of the only guys, he, he said he was like 300 pounds when he was in high school. Wow. Or just coming out of high school. Well, wasn't uh, Thomas De La Oh yeah, Thomas yeah. DeLauer. Yeah, yeah, he, he was. Yeah, he said he got pretty fat too. Yeah. So there's another guy. And it all came down to like, like. I've seen guys that are like pretty, that gotten pretty fat and they get in better shape. Um, but in terms of like uh, the Stan Effortings, the Flex Wheeler, the Flex Lewis, yeah. the, you know, um, yeah. even any of the best, you know, current bodybuilders, I think. Yeah. Most of them were probably on the thinner side. Yeah. Yeah, I have, a, I have a really small waist, which helped me in my show, like bodybuilding. Um, but I think it's harder to add mass, whereas somebody who is thicker as a kid, maybe their bone right. structure's a little bigger. Um, but I always had like thin like wrists and mm -hmm. I don't know. But You want uh, wrist wraps? Yeah. You're all good. All right, here we go. Yeah. Raw, raw, just a watch. Raw. Nice. At a uh, powerlifting meet one time, the guy went up to do a uh, bench. He was an older guy, probably 65, 70 years old, kind of a heavy guy. A guy that like I saw at every powerlifting meet all the time. He got a leg cramp on a bench, and then he went to get up, and he's like holding his hammy. He's kind of doing this guy, and <laughs> and then he gets a cramp in his back, and then he gets stuck like this, and he like walks off the stage, and. <laughs> People couldn't, like they weren't trying to make fun of him or laugh, but it just looked so funny the way yeah. he was walking. And everyone started laughing he, and he turns around and he's like, fuck you, all of you. <laughs> and he like walked off to the back, but he was stuck like this for probably like a half an hour. <laughs> Up. That was, that was smooth. No food in the system. Yay. That's where I feel my body weight is like when I start to yeah. <laughs> move around and with some of these heavier weights. Same thing with deadlift or squat. I get like three plates on there and I can start to feel like that I don't have nearly as much mass as I used to have. Yeah. Are you leaner now than you've ever been? Or? Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot lighter too. I did a bodybuilding show a few years back and I got to a, right around this body weight. Do you believe in static reps at all? Uh, you mean like to say like isometric type thing? Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those those are great. You think it just like breaks in your central nervous system? Oh, it's huge. Uh, Jen Thompson famously does. She's a uh, hundred and I think she competes at 123 pounds. Yeah. Uh, she benched 314 in a drug tested federation. She's been, uh, she's been drug tested for the last 25 years or whatever. Yeah. But she does holds with like 500, 515 stuff like that. Her husband like helps her lift it out. And then she just holds it there yeah. for maybe like a six count. And they have pins set up. So if, if she does, yeah. you know, drop the weight, then they can get her off her easier. But then they just rack it. Okay. With stuff like that, I think it's huge. Yeah. I think it can really build a lot of strength. I might uh, just, for the sake of it, if I'm going to put four plates on, I'll probably just add something to the PR maybe if I can get it. You want to throw a little extra on top? I'll do uh, maybe a five. A fiver? Yeah. Shouldn't feel that, right? <laughs> nah. I already got four or five. Nah, you'll be fine. What's another five, five pounds, 10 pounds? I mean, yeah. I got more information about that, but <laughs> we won't talk about that right now. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. When I, I think when I stepped on stage for my bodybuilding show, I think it was 235. And this morning, I'm probably the only person to ever run every day, five miles every day, and gain weight. It was 225 before I started running every day, and now I'm 230, so I'm not sure what's happening. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm approximately the same body weight. Uh, a big difference from the bodybuilding show is just the amount 
of training that I was doing and the amount of trend that I was using. <laughs> it was uh, copious amount of steroids involved in that show. And so that is a big, that was a big contributor for me in really just getting this like hard look that they talk about in bodybuilding. Two, three, up. Oh, no. <laughs> oh man. He went for it. I messed, missed group that one. Yeah, sometimes you feel it and other times, yeah. I was actually going to take the five off, but I can't take the five off. <laughs> we used to have guys do that in the gym. They try to like beat each other and they try to like nickel and dime each other, but you had to do whatever the weight was that was on the bar first to progress to be able to pick the next weight. You can't just chip people during your workout. So this is gonna help a lot. Like uh, I would say it's probably gonna help me out of the bottom by almost like 50 pounds, but it will still be hard for me. Up. I got it. Woo. That's sticking point, I guess. After. Yeah, yeah. Hey, whatever you gotta do to beat younger people. You know what I mean? You want to try a set with the slinger on? Yeah, I never tried it. Oh, you never tried it? No, I always wanted to try it. I f it just helps you get get out of the pocket. Is that what it does? It's going to help you a lot in the bottom position, yeah. Shoulders and stuff are most vulnerable to okay. the very bottom when your elbows are yeah. back behind your body. Yeah. So it gives you the most support there. What was your max with something like this? The most I ever benched in that, I think, is 635. Yeah. I think. Somewhere in that range. I thought you did. Didn't you try 900? Yeah, so in a, in a bench shirt, oh. I, my best bench is 854. And wow. you were talking about overload. Yeah, so I did, I've done 900 uh, bench oh. pressing off of boards. So short, you put the shorter range of motion. Was straight off your chest. Like, right. Uh, One, two, three, up. Release. You got it, up and back. Towards me, towards me. Mm -hmm. It was almost enough to get him out of there. Oh, there you go. Jeez, I love that one. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't do like, yeah, it's not going to like that spring. Would, that would help a lot with training though, because oh, yeah. you get that, you can put more weight on and right. it shows you where you actually need to work on. You're like, I think out of the pocket, I'm not as bad. I think it's finishing. Right. For my triceps maybe, I don't know. Wow. It's tough, yeah, it's tough, because wow. then you get a weight that you normally maybe can't press and then now you've got to try to figure out a way to fight through it. Yeah. It's hard. One, two, three, up. Oh, this feels light. There you go. Say one more and let's do a couple sets right there. To me, that set right there, that is how your lift should look to get yourself stronger. You'll find if you do a lot of reps that look just like that, those are all clean reps. Yeah. Last rep started to get a little bit harder. Looked like you could still do another maybe rep or two if you really had to or really needed to. But you wanna actually stop and then you wanna proceed and do either more, just more work for the day or maybe do another set. So we're gonna do multiple sets that look a little similar to that. It could be hard in your training to stay uh, constant and consistent with that because it's kind of boring, you know? You're like, oh, I gotta, I do six reps and then now I have to repeat the six reps a bunch of times. But it's not any different than a, someone uh, that does track. They'll go out and they'll do like eight 400s or uh, six 800s. They have them repeatable and they try to keep the same time every time. You do the same thing in lifting. You want, you're gonna find your best results are gonna come probably between 75 and 85% of your max. Probably living right in there. And when you do those reps perfectly over a long period of time, when you go to do a weight, first of all, people are like, holy fuck, you're super strong. Uh, but secondly, the way that you do it just looks a little different than most everybody else because you're gonna be able to do it with precision.